All right, welcome everyone. In this video, it's going to be a quick one, but I've got a couple of questions recently about cleaning up line art, and you can see in this some of the uh, like the black marker possibly used or something to fill in some of the black. It's not really solid, and these blacks really aren't you know really black. They're more of a gray. Uh, and this uh, was sent in by uh, Ramon Hitzeroth. I'm probably messing up that last name. Uh, it's from a comic called Astro Punk Mars. The publishers think alike productions. Co-creators and writers Ken Centers and Rob Fahrenholt. Pencils and ink by Rob, I'm sorry, Pencils and ink by Paul Gorey. So I think I covered all, the, all of the credits they requested here. So what I'm going to do, this is going to be really simple. So I'm going to open up the levels. The levels you can get to uh, let's see, it is uh, image, adjustments, and then levels. And, or you can use uh, uh, control, um, I've got it set to control D, it might not be that by default. But anyway, in levels what you can do is you can grab these three little sliders here, and that will let you adjust the image. So if you bring the one on the left all the way to the right, you'll see it's making let me get really close on this stuff so you guys can see. So if you take a look and watch what's happening here in the black, it's going to get darker and darker until it's almost completely black. And that's what we want. Now, what that introduced is a little bit of pencil noise here, though, when we did that. Um, and that's something you can tweak with the other side. There is a slider on the right. And you can see that almost completely you know, disappears, those uh, black lines. and. And the middle one you can adjust even more to get some get rid of some of that middle ground and you kind of have to tweak this back and forth but uh, that's really it uh, but what it does it makes the black actually black as you can see here it's actually much more black and it just looks a whole lot better uh, much cleaner and you can see if I, I control Z that the difference in those two the, the two differences there so that's a quick way you can set that up now there may be places that you you may want to go back in uh, and you know fill in where it just uh, you know didn't quite get it as black as you want you can always go in here and do this again this is not something as a professional that I've had to do um, but if you're coloring your own and you know you want to get it cleaned up really sharp then you can go in and you know, get use the digital uh, ink to go in and fill in some of those things. So, so yeah, like I said, that was a quick one. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, thanks to Ramon for uh, sending this to me for the video. If you guys have uh, pages you want me to critique, uh, I usually keep a collection of those for YouTube uh, to do whenever I can, and uh, I like doing those. It's a good way to learn. Uh, is to uh, you know get feedback on your on your uh, artwork like that. So so thanks again for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Check the link uh, in the description for my coloring course and uh, and all the other stuff uh, about this uh, image you'll find there, including links to uh, the uh, project here. But uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.